since I got a 3D printer, the first thing I wanted to print was an RC car. And as soon as I saw this on Thingiverse, I just fell in love and I said I had to print. So I did. Um, this is the Open RC project uh, by Daniel Onor. Um, it is great. It's very nice to sign. Uh, it didn't took too long. Actually, it took a while to print. There's a lot of small pieces, but it didn't took too long to put it together. So that was pretty cool. And it was just awesome. Great design. Now there is a couple things. Um, I already know that this gear is definitely not going to last because it is just a PLA plastic gear that, uh, it's not going to last. Um, I also printed out the tires out of PLA, uh, but I think it might just work. Another thing is my front uh, steering system, uh, it turned out to be a bit too tight, so the servo motor cannot currently turn it. Uh, there's too much friction on it, but I'm gonna reprint this whole section again and try to make that work. For now, it's all built, it's done. Um, we're just gonna test it out and see if it rolls.
I had an absolute blast with the open RCF1 car. It is fun. I ended up putting some duct tape on the on the tires because I printed my tires out of PLA so they didn't have too much grip. I recommend you try it out first before you start spending money on tires and stuff like that. Make sure you like it, make sure you enjoy it, and then go ahead and do your upgrades. I did break the axle once. Uh, the first one that I printed didn't have enough fill inside, so it just broke. I went through two gear pinions. It's just gonna chew it up because it is plastic. By the same note, the nose broke twice as well in two different places. I ended up gluing it as well. And as you can see back here is also broken the frame. With that in mind, it is a car that's gonna break a lot. Don't get me wrong, it's still a lot of fun. So that's why I say, try it out, build it first, and see if you have a lot of fun, and if it's, it's up to you, if you really like it, to keep doing upgrades. If not, then you can just move on. But it is very brittle, it breaks a lot, especially since it doesn't have any suspension. If it's a little bit rough, it's gonna break. But overall, I had a lot of fun with this. Let me know in the comments down below if you wanna try out mods for this car. I may actually print the entire car again with better settings to make it more accurate. But let me know in the comments down below if you want me to try out different mods and give you a second video of the Open RC car. Now, I definitely recommend it. If you're a beginner, you need patience. You definitely need patience to print all these parts because it does take a long time and most of them are going to fail the first time you print it, uh, especially the smaller pieces and they're not going to fit perfectly well. So it does take a little bit more work, but it is definitely worth it. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to build another one, give it some mods, uh, or if you have anything in mind of what I can build next. So thank you again for watching. Please consider subscribing. Give it a thumbs up to help out with the algorithm. And I'll see you in the next build.